how to become a lifeguard. You can freestyle like Michael Phelps and you love the smell of chlorine. Why not earn cash and save lives at the same time? You will need to meet certification and age requirements, protective gear and sunscreen, and a good attitude. Step one, consider your calling. If you're a strong swimmer, this may be the perfect gig for you. But if your best stroke is the dog paddle, it's time to rethink. Step two, be a people person. Lifeguarding is a pretty hands-on job and requires a lot of interaction with the public. It helps if you're good with people and great with kids. Step three, see what's available in your area. Contact your local facilities department to inquire about jobs at public pools and your local parks department for jobs at beaches. Each facility has its own water safety requirements, so be sure to investigate what credentials you'll need. Consult AquaticsCareers.com, LifeguardingJobs.com, Craigslist.com, and online job sites for listings. Step four, get the proper certification. Each certification course has its own special age requirements, training procedures, and course fees, and it's generally harder to patrol the beach than police the pool. Lifeguard certification courses are offered through the American Red Cross, the YMCA, the United States Life Saving Association, and Jeff Ellis and Associates. Step five, choose the positions you want to apply for based on pay, location, convenience, size of facility, and how many guards they're looking for. Then thoroughly complete and submit your applications in a timely manner. Step six, ace the job interview by being friendly, energetic, and professional. You want to appear responsible and competent. Step seven, once you land your dream job, you'll need to stay in shape. Hit the gym, do your laps, and stick with a healthy diet. Step eight, avoid skim damage by using a good sunscreen and shielding yourself from dangerous doses of UV rays by covering up with a hat, protective clothing, and a towel, and staying in the shade. Step nine, certifications expire after set periods of time, so make sure you keep up with your renewal dates and exams. You may also want to further your career by pursuing higher certifications. Did you know? The oldest lifeguard on record is 88-year-old Haywood Stewart.